Yo, what's the word, gang? So look, man, we got this whole situation when it comes down to Loose Cannon and Brick Baby. So yesterday we spoke on it. We had WAC 100 actually respond uh, to it. He had um, told us some information about how he saved Brick Baby's life in Miami. And that's how this whole came about, like far as them getting on the phone and having this conversation. So Loose Cannon was informing us how they had this this conversation like 24 hours before the interview, which is supposed to be take place on Thursday, you know what I'm saying, for the No Jumper show that drops tomorrow, you know what I'm saying, which is Sunday. Now, Loose Cannon, you know, he pretty much feels the sun because the internet is like, did Brick Baby run in this situation? Did he hear that Loose Cannon was there and he was going to be in the building and he got low? You know, uh, WAC 100 pretty much put out text messages. Adam, the one, hit him initially and said, look, Brick Baby don't want to do it with Loose. Um, a few hours later, Lou said he received a phone call from Brick Baby saying that he got to come to the hood and get that because um, a lot of his homeboys ain't feeling them. You feel me? And um, Lou's pretty much response to all this situation. Also, um, I'm going to play this clip, but get ready for this other clip that I'm going to drop on how Lou's Cannon goes at it with Eddie Boy in regards to the big U paperwork. And Loose Cannon is saying he don't believe it. He don't believe Eddie Boy story about Big U snitching on him. Starting with the fact that if someone snitches on you, how could they be in the same facility as you without no separation? You know what I'm saying? How is their case still the same case without no separating of the case? But y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, I'm going to get to this Loose Cannon Brick Baby. And um, y'all tell me what y'all think. Gang. What's up with the king? You over in Death of the Cloud Chaser. What's oh, cracking, my boy? What it is? What's up with it? Man, you oh, see what the title say, right, man? We we trying to get to the bottom of this shit, man. We we got the title say, Brick Baby Scared of Loose Cannon, man. We we, we kind of convinced now, man. Explain to us what happened in No Jumper, man, and how, and how everything transpired, like, with the interview you and um, Brick was supposed to do. Yeah, so basically... Wax. Oh See, everybody, listen, everybody is not understanding that Wax wasn't fucking with Brick, right? And then I convinced Wax, I'm like, Wax, we going into a whole nother level of money or whatever like that. Let's probably like start dead in some issues and shit, right? Right. So Wax got the one up on Brick, and then he hit me. He was like, should I let something happen to him? Wack was like, no, nah, I ain't going to let nobody touch nobody on the West Coast. So Wack basically saved Brick Baby's life because they was going to go in there and do their stuff, right? And then right. I was like, Wack, I said, okay, cool. Good looking or whatever on that situation because I didn't want nothing to happen to Brick, even though I know he's a sweetheart. So I was like, okay, cool. So Brick get on the phone with Wack. They've been chopping it up and whatever. Wack giving him advice and stuff like that. And then I get a call maybe a, a couple of days before that saying like with, with one of my homies talking about that Big U wants to wait a white flag with Wack 100, right? Right. He was like, well, we want to be, we don't, I'm tired of beefing with this nigga because it's not getting me nowhere. They ain't getting me no money, and there's a lot of eyes on me. So he was like, I can't. Big, you don't trust you because he know what you're capable of doing. You might be talking to him in a minute, trying to get along with him, and then you probably do something to him. So I was like, okay, I respect that, right? Right. But he was like, whacking. Um, Big, you have a bond that nobody could break. I would have liked that they used to be brothers. But then Big U tried to do some bullshit um, at Wack Concert with, with the game, right? Right. So Big U, I mean, so after that, 600, get on the call with Wack, and Wack was just explaining to him. 600 basically jumped out the window, and basically it was said the play before the play happened. And so now Brick and them is, is it got a, so Wack tells Brick the situation or whatever about the phone call. You know, like being up and up with him because I told him to, like, you know, 
he might not be a bad person or whatever. He just, you know, get into shit and then he apologized a day later. He's a buster. Right. So Wack was like, all right, nephew, I'm going to do it for you, but I don't want to dead this issue. And I said, just do it. Let, just, let's just move on. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. So we gave him opportunity. I told Wack, set it up. Me and Break is on the phone. Um, I said, let's do an interview. It's going to be good for the West Coast. We put everything on the table. Since it started on the internet, let's put it on the internet. And if we have to get down afterwards, we're going to get down. You know what I'm saying? So when Fair. I said that, he agreed to it. But I know in his voice, when I, when I said those things to him, it was kind of shaky. You get what I'm saying? Like, it was like a shaky, like, yeah. You like, could tell, like, his energy like, was off. You could tell he was telling you, yeah, but you knew he really was bullshitting. Yeah, I knew he was kind of bullshitting because the aggressive tone I was giving him, and then he, he felt like, like, damn, I'm going to get exposed to the world in front of everybody so everybody going to know I'm not like that. And... So he gets on No Jumper, a segment with Flacco and Lush, and he said, um, I didn't want to do it or whatever because my loyalty is to a big you. But basically, Wack and us, we we was talking to break, and basically he was like, basically, fuck big you. I'm going to do what I want to do. You get what I'm saying? So behind closed doors. So... He get on no jumper and say the goofy shit. Then 45 minutes before we walking into the building to do the interview, he was like, oh, I can't do the interview and stuff like that. They pressing me or whatever about loose skinning. So I call cousin and I'm like, bro, what's up? Bring whoever you got with you. I would have liked that if, it, if you got homies, from the hood and stuff like that. We all from sixes. We could all go get down in the back. Dead homies, right? If you just like this, he told Wax, he was like, oh, I'm going to drop off some food and then I'm going to come right back. No show. Stop answering. Don't want to pick up the phone. He like, he's a real life buster. He, he knew when I seen him, I'm going to talk to him. If he said anything crazy, I was going to punch on him. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day is Flacco warned him. Flacco told him, like, you know, Lewis Cannon, I seen him in action. I know what type of nigga he is. I could look him in his eyes and tell him he ain't going to play with you. So Flacco warned him, and then he realized, like, all the stories he's been hearing for years about me. And he was like, yeah, I ain't going to take that chance. But if we from 60s, it should be nothing said he he should pull up do his thing if we have to fight we're gonna fight and get it out the way this is what we do got you got you so 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 have you talked to have you talked to him since then like since he since he ducked the interview have you talked to him after that yeah i told him i said bro we could get in I said, listen, if you worried about fighting and stuff like that, we do it off camera. It ain't going to be nothing like that. I said, what block you want to meet on? He hangs up the phone. Damn. So this nigga really is running from you and shit. Yeah, he's a real life buster. Like, and that's why me and Wack, we was like, we ain't even going to force it no more. Because Wack was only doing it because of me. Right. Nobody else. He wasn't doing it because of... Uh, Brick baby, he wasn't doing it because of the West Coast shit. He was only doing it because I asked him to. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, right. damn, you already saved the nigga life or whatever like that. Making man's with him. Wack was like, nah, fuck that nigga. I kept pressuring Wack and keep asking him to do it. And he right. did it. But you, you also just said, right, you was like, Big, you reached out and he was trying to, you know, clear shit up with you and Wack and like, you know, squash shit and shit, right? And then you said like, um, basically what fucked all that up is Christopher Lovejoy, um, 600, he jumped out there and made a video about it immediately and exposed it. Do you feel like, do you kind of feel like Lovejoy kind of out of pocket for that? Or, or no, you, you, you don't care that he did that? No, no, no. He's out of pocket of that because at the end of the day, it's like, 
you could have, even if they didn't, what's the name, let them get on the phone. You get what I'm saying? And let them address certain situations. If it go, nothing come out of it, nothing comes out of it. If something do come out of it, it do come out of it. Do you, you know what I'm saying? He didn't right. even give them that moment. And that's why whack. I feel the, the same type of way. Like, bro, you didn't even let them get that out the way. Because the right. world wants to really know everything that's going behind behind the situation. You get what I'm saying? Hell Put that yeah. shit off on the floor. We want to know shit. <laughs> yeah, so, so at the end of the day, it's like he fucked that moment up. And that's what Wack was probably saying. Like, nigga, it's not like the loyalty is not towards you, but nigga, you should at least let us get on the phone and figure that shit out. Right, right, right. And now I know, now, now, you, you say you call a spade a spade, you know what I'm saying? You, you, when Brick Baby do some bullshit, y'all speak on it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When, when niggas do bullshit, you speak on it, right? Of course. Now, what I noticed in, in, in 600 video, he spoke as if, Big, you reached out to squash something with him. But what I'm noticing is, you know, we spoke to Wack, and now we speaking to you. The call didn't come to squash anything for 600. The call came to squash something with you and Wack. You know what I'm saying? So it's seeming as if Big, you respects you and Wack, but he don't respect 600 because he's not reaching out to squash shit with 600. How do you feel? How do you feel about 600 going online and portraying a fraud? Okay, so and I'm gonna keep it a buck, right? Keep it a buck, bro. So at the end of the day, is Big You called the squash shit with um, Whack One Hundred, right? Right. He said that me and him is family, so it's like a family type shit or whatever like that. He loved me or whatever like that. I got love for him, but he don't trust me because he know what I'm capable of doing. Right. Wack got a more sensible head, so he he feels like, oh well, Wack can control loose cannon or whatever like that. So I might as well lead it with his name. But he was like that six hundred. Fuck that nigga. Leave him out to dry. But me and Wack is telling him like, bro, we wasn't gonna never leave you out to dry. If he gonna squash it with us, he was gonna squash it with you. He would had to. You get what I'm saying? And that's how whack rose. But 600 jumped out the window and saying some bullshit when it shouldn't even happen like that. 600 should have just let those two niggas get it out the way or whatever like that and then see where it, it fell after that. You get what I'm saying? You have to let the chips fall. Right. And right. he can do that. So that's what I'm saying, though. So, like, if, it's some buster shit. Yes. It's, it's some buster shit. Thank you. Thank you. You kept it 100. That's some buster shit. Because you know, we both know if the shoe was on the other foot and say Brick Baby was to come up tomorrow and make up a lie and be like, hey, Loose Cannon hit me at 1 16 a.m. East Coast time and he broke it down to me. He apologized. He was trying to be my friend. He want to squash everything. Now we'll all know that's Cap because you in here talking to us right now. You know what I'm saying? Of course. And that'd be buster shit. So. What 600 did, that was bust shit. And, and, and this is how I feel about that whole situation. Like, as far as, like, you and Big U and Wack and all y'all getting cool. I feel like that shit can happen. And I feel like, I don't feel like y'all gonna X 600 out. But, you know, in war, it be collateral damage sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it, be, it be pawns in the situation. I feel like if y'all niggas can get on the same page, but 600 gotta sit it out, that might just have to be what it gotta be. You know what I'm saying? Because, 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 what is 600 really bringing to y'all's table? You know what I'm saying? See, the, see, the thing is, it's like we we natural born loyalty and integrity before anything when it, when it comes down to it. But when we feel like certain things is not being reciprocated, I feel like it's a problem now because there's no way that you should fuck off anybody mending something you should respect that. You get what I'm saying? So right. when you don't respect that, and you're talking about two powerhouse niggas, you get what I'm saying? We right. we can cut all the bullshit out and say that Biggie do the police shit and stuff like that. 
and the cop shit and the grid program and stuff like that, but he still have a household name. He's still a powerhouse in his own way. You get what I'm saying? Facts, so you thinking business. 600 ain't looking at it like that. He not thinking business. You thinking business. Just think about, just think about whacking big you back on the side of each other and y'all doing y'all shit, right? Yeah, they, they think, stronger. Think about how powerful the West yeah, Coast would be. Of, of course, they, they stronger. Um, they strong now, but they will be even stronger together. Facts. And so at the end of the day is uh, me and Wack had a, a conversation. Um, and I'm, I'm going to share that with y'all. Like he told me, he was like, nephew, I ain't going to do anything without your blessing or anything like that. And I told him, I said, listen, I said, honestly, See where it get you, the conversation get you, and if y'all can mend the shit, mend the shit, and and work things out. You know what I'm saying? Do things the correct way. And you right. and Wax was like, uh, I don't feel that way. But Neff, if you feel feel strongly about that, I'ma rock with it. I said thank you. So when that happened, he just all all he did was just call. 600 and let him know about the conversation and when he let him know about the conversation 600 did a video I immediately called, yeah i called whack i'm like damn it's not like them they would have hit me back dead homies they would have hit me back he said nephew they didn't hit you back and he sent me the video of 600 did the shit jumping out the window i'm like oh why cuz do that do you get what i'm saying right well, it seemed like it seemed like 600 can't see the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? In, in my opinion, I don't know how you feel about it, but that seemed like a, a selfish move to me. That don't seem like 600 playing team ball. That that seemed like 600 was thinking about itself in that situation. Because yeah, 600 really got in his feelings. And when right. he got in his feelings, he got emotional. He but got see, emotional feeling like, oh, we leaving the nigga out. Well, right. We homies, we wasn't. You get what I'm saying? It was, right. And... Why gave him enough respect to call cuz and tell him what it was going to be? You get what I'm saying? Right. And when he gave him that respect, it was to a point where it's like he didn't have to. He could have just did the shit and said, fuck it. It is what it is. You get what I'm saying? Because we all know, even when it comes down to the Eddie Boy shit, 60 Crip, I don't believe it. You get what I'm saying? Right. And I'm gonna keep it a buck. So you don't. So so you don't. You don't believe the Eddie Boy shit. You think Eddie Boy's capping. You don't think. You don't really think Big. You snitched on Eddie Boy. No, 